shoot you, man. Let's go get what we want. Hey! 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 He's the best We know what we want to do. It's another opportunity for us to get better. Alabama has won the match. How you compete, that means how hard you play, how tough you play, how you can sustain in tough circumstances. Welcome to Tide TV This Week, brought to you by Renaissance Bank. I'm Chris Ringer, alongside Maggie Hetzel. We hope everyone has had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays so far. The Alabama football team will be spending the rest of the holiday break in sunny Orlando as the Tide is preparing to take on Michigan Wolverines in the Verbo Citrus Bowl. Alabama had seven practices here in Tuscaloosa before they took a few days off for Christmas. The team is now in Orlando as they continue preparations for that New Year's Day matchup. The Crimson Tide will practice five more times in Orlando before the January 1st game with the Wolverines. For the 12th consecutive year, the Alabama football team has had double-digit wins. Before we preview the Tide's postseason matchup against Michigan in the Citrus Bowl, let's take a look back at the Tide's 10 wins from this past regular season. In this first part of the highlight, we'll take a look at the Tide's first seven victories from the season, finishing with the big win over Tennessee. This all-access highlight is brought to you by ATI. We welcome you wherever you are as we get set for another season of Bama football, opening it up today against the Duke Blue Devils out of the Atlantic Coast Conference. First game back, 2019. Set to go. It's Alabama and Duke. Play action, rolls right, throws wide open, Forrestal, the tight end of the 10. He's down the left side, five, he'll power in. Touchdown, Alabama. Anthony Jennings trying to come around on the outside. Here's pressure up the middle. Have a seat, young man. Here's Robinson. Goal line, got there. Touchdown, Alabama. And it's 14 points in less than five minutes. Oh. The tide's starting to roll. Two and a throw for it. Got a man wide open. Caught. Touchdown. Major Tennyson for the score. He'll get around the outside man. Down the right sideline for a touchdown. And succeed Alabama did today to the tune of 42 to 3. A good start. We had a good camp. All right, but one game all right, does not make a rep reputation or an identity. This is something that we have to continue throughout the course of the year. We've got plenty of daylight. First play of the game. How many times have you seen this? 75 yards. Big hole. Turn on the afterburners. And he's got daylight. See ya. 74 yards for the true freshman from D.C. Nobody was going to get him. Wide open. Touchdown, Najee Harris. Looks like Bama's going to go for it. Fourth down and three. Looks left. Everybody's covered. Throws Najee. First down. Inside the 30. Broke a tackle. A hurdle. Hurdles over a man at the 15. And he will take it in for a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. One of the plays of the year. You got that? I, I'm going to uh, That's pretty good. Yeah. This is one towards the end zone. Intercepted Alabama. Xavier McKinney. Quick slam, there he goes, Henry runs for a tie touchdown. Tua getting the ball out quickly and accurately, and it's yards after the catch by the best receiving group in the land. Wide open and throws. Henry runs will not be caught. Fake it to Harris, Jody wide open for the touchdown. Reaches down to his knees, makes the grab, touchdown Alabama. I don't know, sometimes it's just fun to watch, Gary, you know? Yes. What a day for number six. Diabaloa. Smith, got it. Touchdown. My goodness. Number five. And a new single game yardage record. 
A 28-yard score. Matt Brown has it blocked. In the air. On the ground. Touchdown, Alabama. Ali Cajo blocks the punt and then covers it in the end zone for a touchdown. And the 12th ever meeting between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Aggies of Texas A&M University. Quick throw out. Jalen Waddell, Jalen Waddell weaving his way for his first touchdown of the year. My goodness. Vaughn covered up, he's going down. Back to back sacks, this one's Christian Barmore. Touchdown, oh my goodness, what a play. What a play as he finds Najee Harris. Going to go long sideline. Got it. Touchdown, Rubs. Henry Rubs. This one is blocked. It is loose. Picked up and walked in by Alabama. Kale had the block punt. That's the second time he's blocked a punt this year. Terrell Shavers there to pick up the block. Great job by the Crimson Tide special teams. And this one is in the books. Alabama 47, Texas A&M 28. It is the third Saturday in October. What that means, you get the traditional rivalry that Alabama has owned lately. But we'll see if they're on alert tonight. What a great atmosphere. At night, the first night game here at Alabama this season, they got new lights. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be like a rock concert out here. <laughs> this place is ready to explode. Showtime. It's showtime. Taking on contact and the pylon. Fakes it, throws it in the end zone, touchdown! Slade Bolden hits Miller Forrest on the end zone. And it's going to bring up fourth and goal. Fourth and goal for Tennessee. Gertano tried to get there, the ball comes out. Trayvon Diggs running down the sideline. He's going to run it all the way down. The coaches make their way to midfield as Alabama wins it 35-13 over the Tennessee Volunteers. Yeah, makes the catch. Unbelievable play. Swing and a miss, strike three. each other, love each other, let's do this for one another. She's meant so much to this program. And I am so proud of this team and where we're headed. What a moment for the Crimson Tide when they needed it the most. A double-double was nuts. We are built by champions. So much airtime. We are built by band. Welcome back to Tide TV This Week, brought to you by Renaissance Bank. We just took a look at the Tide's first seven wins of the season. Now let's take an all-access look at the Tide's final three wins from the regular season. It's brought to you by BBVA. The Alabama Crimson Tide and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Here we see Matt Jones make his first start. Judy breaks a tackle. He's going to take it in. Touchdown, Alabama. Here's the quarterback looking, trying to find anybody. It's picked off by Alabama. And Diggs, who had a fumble recovery for a touchdown last week, has a pick six this week. Touchdown, Bama. Behind the defense for a touchdown. 40 yards. Mac Jones. And the tide rolls to a 48-7 win over Arkansas. The scene is set. 
The home team has not been here in just about a month. Stevens looks towards Hill, then throws intercepted. Intercepted by Alabama's Lee. Shane takes it and back inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Looks wide open. Najee Harris, touchdown, Alabama. Handoff, Najee. Hello. Score another one as he goes up the middle. Najee cuts right, cuts left, walks it in. Tua already had his hands in the air. Touchdown, Alabama. Najee Harris is fourth touchdown yeah. of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Look. I am what I am, I'm a Down the sideline, touchdown. Well, that was creative. He will carry it in for the touchdown. I'ma do what I do, let me stay packing too, so you haters won't try to get me. And this one is in the books. Alabama wins it by a score of 38 to 7. It's always a special, special day, senior day here in Tuscaloosa, as Alabama gets set to meet the Catamounts of Western Carolina University. This senior class has put together an overall record of 50 and 4 over the last four seasons. That victory total is among the best in the country during that span. Hey, it's our last time to get in this stadium, but let's rock out, dog. Spot hit, spot hit. So the pass is going to be intercepted. Xavier McKinney. It's deflected, picked off by Alabama. McKinney again. His second interception, and there he goes. Alabama to the house once again. This one's going to be picked off. Tyree Adams picked off by the senior, Jared Maiden. Throws a dangerous pass, and it's picked off. Jared Maiden, the senior. His second interception of the third quarter after heavy pressure from Christian Barmore. Here to Leah, throws a screen left side. Down the left side, Devontae Smith, touchdown Alabama! Turns the corner, does he get in? Yes, touchdown Alabama! Bama has now won 49 of their last 51 here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. They win it today by a final score of 66 to three. Team on three. One, two, three. <laughs> We're going to work our tails off every day. We're going to get this thing rolling in the right direction. Oh, baby, what a jumper. But we're going to get better, so we're going to give max effort, continue his growth, and then we talk about selfless love. A huge three. Oh my goodness, what a play. Oh, mercy. Unbelievable. Holy smoke. Showtime. Bama fans here at Coleman are on their feet. Alabama will meet Michigan in the Verbo Citrus Bowl on New Year's Day. That matchup will be Alabama's third trip to the Citrus Bowl and just the fifth time two of the winningest programs in college football history have met on the gridiron. Michigan is number one all-time in wins with 962. Alabama is fourth in college football history with 915 wins, just two behind Yale and seven behind second place Ohio State. This season, number 14 Michigan enters the Citrus Bowl matchup against the Crimson Tide 9-3. All three of the Wolverines' losses have come against top 15 opponents. The Wolverines pulled out a tough 24-21 win in double overtime against Army in week two. Their biggest wins were a 10-3 win over number 14 Iowa on homecoming and a 45-14 route of number 8 Notre Dame in Ann Arbor to close out the month of October. Jim Harbaugh is in his fifth season as head coach of the Maize and Blue. Harbaugh is 47-17 as head coach at Michigan and has double-digit wins in three of his first four seasons as head coach. This will be the first ever meeting between Nick Saban and Jim Harbaugh as head coaches. The Wolverines are fifth in the Big Ten in scoring, averaging 33 points per game. Leading the Michigan offense is former Ole Miss quarterback Shea Patterson. Patterson ranks second in the Big Ten, averaging 235.7 yards per game. Patterson has thrown for 2,828 yards on the season, about 1,300 less than the Crimson Tide's total passing yards of 4,122. On the ground, the Wolverines don't have a 1,000-yard rusher like the Crimson Tide and Najee Harris, but Zach Charbonnet and Hassan Haskins have combined to total 1,203 yards on the season. Ronnie Bell is Michigan's leading receiver with 44 receptions, but it's Nico Collins and Donovan Peoples-Jones that lead the team in touchdown catches. Collins leads the Wolverines with seven touchdowns, while Peoples-Jones is right behind with six.
Defensively, the Wolverines ranked fifth in the Big Ten, giving up 19.5 points per game. Leading the Wolverines on defense is Kalik Hudson. Hudson is first on the team and fifth in the Big Ten with 97 tackles. The Alabama offensive line will need to know where Josh Uche is at all times. Uche leads the Wolverines with eight and a half sacks. While Alabama has been in the national championship game the past four seasons, and this will be the first time in the playoff era that the Crimson Tide will not be a part of it, there's still a lot to play for for both sides. I think everybody's got to refocus their mindset, you know, in playing uh, in this game. Um, you know, we're playing a very good team in Michigan, and I'm sure that they have their reasons for having their motivation to try to vindicate, you know, some of the things that happened in their season. Um, and I also think that, um, you know, we have a lot of reasons to, you know, want to play well uh, to, you know, sort of indicate some of the disappointments that we've had in our season. Kickoff for the Verbo Citrus Bowl is scheduled for noon central time on New Year's Day. If you can't be at the game in Orlando, you can watch it live on ABC. Welcome back to Tide TV this week, brought to you by Renaissance Bank. It's hard to believe, but 2019 and the decade is almost over. It is. We've had some big moments, some great plays, and a lot of memories from this past year. Let's take a look back at some of those moments through our favorite images from this past year. It's brought to you by ATI. Oh my goodness, one of the plays of the year. Fighting for each other. Okay. Hey, we all banged up. We're going to be together as one. If we do that, we're going to come out as one. It's not just a night on the field. Know that. It's everyone. Because everyone matters. We impose our will every snap. Let's go. Yes, yeah. When you say toughness, like th that's tough, that's tough. Baby. <laughs> it's crazy because she just, she's just like a mini version of me. Hurdles over the line at the 15, and he will take it in for a touchdown. What a play. He said if we were going to leave there, that'd be something special. The University of Alabama's really special. <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Believe it. One, two, three, and four. Alabama Gymnastics has truly taught me how to pick myself back up when I'm down. Hardy, base hit up the middle. They will wave Anderson home. And Alabama wins it with the Caroline Hardy pitch hit walk off. The ball comes loose. Taken by Shane by Alabama. He's down, and Tua's down. His helmet came off. Look, I've talked to Tua. I, I'm, I feel bad. I'm hurting. All right, but so I call him on Saturday night to cheer him up. He cheers me up. It's just been one heck of a ride. You know, 60 wins, and they have taught they have taught me a tremendous amount, and they've made me a better coach. So I can't thank them enough ride of a lifetime. She's meant so much to this program. Tears are already flowing before she even finishes her final pose.
three-pointer on the way. Bottom! What a road win for Alabama. At the buzzer, counted if it goes. It's done! Top of the key, a three. Got it! And there's Walker. Thanks again for joining us for a special holiday edition of Tide TV this week. See you next week, everybody. Happy holidays and roll tide. Happy holidays and roll tide. This has been a presentation of Learfield IMG College.